Hey guys, Bear with BearIndependent.com. I'm about to show you guys a highly edited walkthrough video from a uh, bunker that we installed for a client in an undisclosed location. Um, this client was very um, agreeable to us using this uh, content, this walkthrough that we shot for them and uh, so I've edited out all of the opsec -y things so that you guys can see a walkthrough through an actual bunker uh, that we facilitated the install of. And um, yeah, very good product. If you have any questions, get at me. You can visit me at bearindependent.com or prosperity, the word prosper, the word ready.com. Prosperity, which is our preparedness consultancy. Thanks. Okay. Underneath this piece of pressure treated plywood is the cap for your 2,500 gallon cistern. That is your beehive. So now this is at grade and your electricity for the unit comes in under here. It comes into here. I'm sorry, it comes in here through this box and back to here. These breakers have nothing to do with it. It just passes through. The breaker in your main panel, this is your privacy fence to screen eyes uh, from the road. We have walked it and ridden it and you cannot see anything behind that fence that nobody should be seeing. So, Okay, come around back here. Remember, these are your solar panels. They're two 365 watt solar panels. Um, that rack is temporary. It will suffice for now. But uh, when we put the greenhouse in here, we will relocate those panels. That conduit there with that bundle of wire that's been painted green is there for the same reason to allow the relocation of this temporary rack. You got your fence from the back, dead man here for rigidity on the fence. This is your air out and it's been screened. Again, you see the screen on there. Entrance video cameras up here that little junction box right there that's buried in is to a spare conduit penetration through the bunker it's capped uh, nothing's going to get in there but it's a spare penetration if we need it your air in is right back there back around behind this tree also shielded from the road it's pipe strapped buried in and the uh, intake is screened as well and then your drain line is back here and you probably can't see it but there's a brown stick right there greenish brown stick that's your drain line out and it runs down into that ravine so that's the outside oh and your gas line is run in underneath this dirt here, comes off of this LP tank. It is half inch copper. Okay, now we will go down into the unit. Okay, staircase down. You've got a three-way switch here. Same switch, this switch here, and that switch there are tied together. This is your door. Okay, this is a blast proof door. You remember the code and the lock. We talked about that. Um, and then turn it. All right, 
This is your brain box for your cameras. You need to get a TV. This is 12 volt. Connect the HDMI to the TV, which will plug in here. Mount the TV in here. This is your air out. Okay, and so remember, when the handle goes across the valve, it's closed. When the handle is in line with the valve, it's open. So for right now, we'll close it. Okay, moving right along. Your table that's been built, your chairs, your couch, coffee table, um, and then your sofa that converts into a day bed. Kitchen area. Remember, while we're here, fully welded seams. Your fans are 12 volt. Turn them off and on like this. And they're reversible and you can adjust the speed. One switch throughout the unit is for 12 volt. The other switch is for 120 volt grid power. The extra bright lights, that light right there, the bright light, that's off of the solar panels. So bright as the sun, remember that. The dimmer light, the cooler light, that's off the grid, okay? So, and you can run both at the same time or neither. I would recommend running the grid power as much as you can and not um, running your batteries down. Speaking of running batteries down, your charge controller is down here along with your fuses. Fuses are here, standard automotive fuses. This, oh, this receptacle is for a battery tender to go here to tend these batteries. And these are your batteries for your solar system. Right down there, that red switch, that's your emergency power switch. Right now, these batteries will not cycle below 25%. If you have to have them run to zero, you can flip that switch up and they'll go all the way to zero. But understand that that's catastrophic. That's not good for the battery. So that's only to be done in an emergency and you're probably only gonna to get to play that card once. So that's all 12 volt down here. This is grid power, 120 volt. Standard breakers are here and this is wired in from up top where I showed you. Your sink, remember, 12 volt pump, if you want water pressure, flip the switch up and you get water pressure, okay? When you're not using it, flip the switch down. Stove, cutting board here, two burners underneath. Pull this latch forward and lift and you've got two, oh, the cutting board will not stay there, now you know. You've got two pots here for alcohol fuel. These are basically giant sterno pots, okay? So you fill those up, light them with a lighter, probably a long handled lighter, and you're good to go. And this is your rate of flow for how much flame you want. Um, down here, you've got your 12 volt pump. And then this is your water purification and ultraviolet system for purifying um, the water, treating the water that's in there. So that's all um, good to go right there. So that's forced water through those filters that will purify uh, whatever water's coming in from the outside, which right now is out of that 2,500 gallon cistern, which is treated city water. Okay. Let's move into the pantry area. Flip the lights on. This is your air in that comes through here and it has two fans, 120 and 12 volt battery power. So, there's your air filtration system. It's got uh, activated charcoal in it. It will do all of the things. 
So, if you are going to take occupancy of this bunker, it's probably because something bad has happened. You're going to want to flip that thing on. Again, run grid power until such a time as it makes sense for you to not run grid power. Now also, same valve, when the valve is in line, or I'm sorry, when the handle's in line with the valve, you're getting airflow. When the handle runs across the valve, the valve is off. So you're gonna to wanna to open this valve, flip that fan on, yep, I can feel it. It feels good, actually. Okay, all right. That's the pantry area. Talked about the kitchen, talked about the living room, dining room area. This is your bathroom. Okay, shower head, uh, faucet, um, water adjustment. All the water in this unit all runs to this, which is a tank, which will fill up. You run this switch, and that is a lift pump that sucks all the water out of this tank and pumps it up and out and out to the surface into that drain that's run off the side of the um, off the side of the bank. So we've got water here as well. Let me go turn our water pump back on so we get water pressure. Okay. And so cold water, and then this is your propane powered Insta hot, hot water heater. So when we flip this on, the water will run. See that fired up already? Here, I'm gonna do that again. It's off, so when you open the faucet, it sees the demand, fires up, and instantly makes your hot water. You can control how hot it gets right here, okay? And that's vented to the outside world, good to go. So, that's how all of that works in this area. Again, as you're using water, you don't want to see anything coming up in here. If you do, flip that switch up and it will evacuate the water that has been collected in that tank. There is a check valve in line so that that will not backflow. There's also a check valve in line here. This is a vent. It runs up and out from your composting toilet. All of the documentation for the composting toilet is inside the toilet, which has obviously not been used yet. So please read that and familiarize yourself with it. When the bunker comes into service, open this valve in line and the fumes will come up and out of here and outside. So you've got more storage over here. Uh, lots of shelves, very cool, and frankly, a very well-built bunker, very well-built. Uh, I'm quite impressed. Again, two switches, one for 12 volt, or that's grid power, and then 12 volt. In here, one, two, three bunks. You've got your rods here to hang curtains for some privacy. You've got storage here, one 10 outlets, and then one, two, three bunks, good to go. And then back here, we've got yet again, one, two, three bunks, one, two, three bunks, two outlets here, and more rods for curtains for privacy. So you've got three, six, nine, 12 bunks in here, plus the pullout couch, which will sleep too or one bear size man. And then this is your master bedroom, which will take a queen size mattress, which will fit down the staircase. You've got more power here, uh, storage and a curtain rod area, and then room up off the floor. It looks like you've got about 16 inches from the floor to the bottom of this to slide totes or buckets or whatever else you would like to store underneath there. 
And then lastly, this is if your bunker is breached, this door is ballistic. Close this door, throw your latches. But I do not believe anybody is going to get through that primary blast door. But if they did, uh, you can shelter back down the hallway. So there you go. I should turn these lights off as I retreat. Okay. And um, your panels are making power right now. Everything works. All of the systems are good to go. Um, let's talk about this. This is a, um, shuts down the entire 12 volt system. Here, there's 12 volt on, turn that, see it comes out. If you had concerns over, for whatever reason, the bunker being breached, um, you could take this key with you. I don't think that you need to do that and it is cabled onto this piece of conduit, but there is a 12 volt shut off right here. And I am shutting the bunker down and locking it and moving it into your hands. This door is gasketed, uh, looks like half inch rubber. So you're gonna wanna pull and now it's locked. Okay, and we talked about your code and um, stairs up. You've got your door here. This is a weather door. This is not a blast proof door. It is not to prevent access. It's a weather door. This right here, you pull this and it will close now. There's a handle here you can grab to lower it. There's an emergency latch here. Okay, so you can unlatch yourself from the inside if you need to. And also, all of the dirt has been burned up around the door so that water will be highly encouraged to run away from it. So, close it like that. It's closed. We will put a padlock on that and you are good to go. And I believe that is the extent of what you need to know to operate your bunker.